Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Permission to Live in the End. This is Lisa Scott. If you haven't had an opportunity to do so, please click like, click share, hit the notification button, and hit subscribe so that those who would uh, normally not get a chance to see this video do have a chance to do so. And I had an incredible evening last night that caused me to wake up and want to share uh, something that came to me regarding, uh, for lack of a better way of putting it, I will call it the ambiance of our lives. And if you know what ambiance is, it's an overall feeling. Um, I'm an ambiance person, so I like like little candles. I like, um, you know, mood lighting. I love stuff like that. And that is an example. Those descriptors are an example of ambiance, a mood that is set. Um, and what came to me, and I believe it's because I was watching the show, the series called Shameless. And if you have ever seen the series called Shameless, this family's life is like <laughs> it is the craziest life I have ever seen in my life. And I believe that on a subconscious level, I was taking in that information and um, my I amness, my consciousness just went to work to share with me that we all tend to experience, or a lot of us, I'm not going to say every single one of us on the planet because there's like however many billions of people on the planet. Um, but generally speaking, people have an ambiance of their lives. And um, this reminded me of an experience that I had. Um, this ambiance of our lives has to do with, um, it is actually in essence a state of being. So every day we're waking up, we tend to wake up to the same general ambiance that is happening in our lives, the, a general mood that tends to be like a home base that we experience on a daily basis that can trick us into believing that the, uh, the next day that we wake up is not brand spanking new and that there's not a brand spanking new opportunity for us to consciously and mindfully manifest what it is that we desire into our lives. And um, like I said, I believe all of this started to um, come to me and come back to my remembrance because I've been watching the series called Shameless. And um, so um, I'm remembering a uh, experience I had uh, where I was actually asleep and midway between uh, waking up and uh, being asleep, uh, you're, this, there's a conscious awareness that happens that we all experience very naturally. It's an inherent and natural um, process that we go through called the theta state, where just as we're going off to sleep, right midway between getting you know actually falling asleep and just before going off to sleep there's this relaxed state that i get a lot of information in and i'm sure quite a lot of us do uh it's just a matter of whether you are consciously aware of it or not and this actually that particular state is the um the um term uh or the phrase that neville goddard uses called the uh, state akin to sleep. It is like sleep, but it is not sleep. So you are consciously aware. And Neville asks us to use that state in order to relax ourselves, so to speak, into uh, states of being that we want to uh, experience. So anyway, um, I was in that state akin to sleep. I was sleeping, just about to wake up, became consciously aware, and I uh, kept hearing your, um, 
your surroundings, your immediate surroundings are trying to play a trick on you. And I kept hearing it over and over and over again. This was about two summers ago. And mind you, my eyes were still closed. And while my eyes were closed, I was able to see my entire bedroom. And um, so while my eyes were closed, I was able to see my entire bedroom, the curtains, the, the, the uh, rug, the television, the paint on the wall, all of this while my eyes were closed. And I kept hearing your immediate surroundings are trying to play a trick on you. Or yes, your immediate surroundings are trying to play a trick on you. And um, as I'm hearing this messaging, I began to hear and understand what the message was there to teach me. And it was letting me know that every day is a brand new day. However, um, our immediate uh, surroundings, our immediate environment around us, because it appears to be the exact same thing, it kind of cues an inward not kind of, it does. It cues an inward response that is like the previous day if we're not paying attention. So our connection to what we've created, our thoughts, our emotions, all of the sensory perception, which is the 3D world that we are connected to, um, we are connected to the very things that we've created, but we can become, which is what this channel is all about and why you're here. We are here to be mindful creators of our experiences. We're manifesting regardless of, uh, just regardless. Every day, all day, we're manifesting whether you're consciously aware or not. But you and I have decided that we want to be mindful about that. So this messaging came to, uh, to show me and um, also the most, the most important part about what I'm saying is that I, I heard um, or the, um, the experience or the teaching that was coming to me was presenting to me that I am like a character. We are like a character on stage of the reality that we have created. So you wake up, you see a familiar scene, and it's like cue actor or action. When you wake up and you experience the same thing or your perception is that you're experiencing the same exact thing as you did the day before, um, it's like cueing an actor to begin to play the role that they have created within their reality and all of the stuff that's on set, your house, your bedroom, all of that stuff is a part of the role that you have been creating. But the incredible thing, as I've been saying, is that we have the opportunity to be mindfully aware of what we have created. And if we want to have a different experience, the very first thing I'll say is to remember that every single day, every single moment, every single second is brand spanking new. It is not the same. However, our creation uh, has... Um, has duped us into believing that it's the very same same moment. It's the very same reality. It's the very same thing because our emotions are tied in and our feelings are tied in and uh, you know the people that we've created as a part of the, the play are tied in. All of this stuff is tied in to assist us to create our reality. But we are the operant power. So I am just stopping by to remind you that if you're the ambiance of your life is, um, and that is a creation, the ambiance, ambiance of your life is the creation, the mood that you have set on a daily basis. If this is a mood that you do not want to experience anymore, you are the operant power of that mood. You are the operant power of the ambiance of your life. And if you don't like how it feels, one of the um, uh, affirmations that came to me uh, was, I feel good all the time. Every day and every minute and every second is brand spanking new. 
I am the operant power. So these, as you're experiencing and deciding what you want to experience as your the new ambiance of your life allow those affirmations that come up those not affirm not just affirmations but beliefs to come up and you can write those down we've talked about the magic notebook you can write those down in your magic notebook and begin creating the new ambiance of your life the new uh daily you know, that feeling that you get up and you feel every day, what are you deciding that it's going to be? So I just wanted to stop by and share this with you. And also I have a course that is the foundation. My participants that went through this course with me, they considered it to be the foundation of manifesting. We're talking about a lot of things that in uh, the manifesting community, people just aren't talking about you will see the button that says get the course somewhere on this video i hope you'll click the button to get that and also uh like i said if you have not op had the opportunity to click the subscribe button please do that click the notification button so that you can see uh, more upcoming videos and i will see you on the next video mm -hmm.